If you're looking to save your marriage, I want to suggest communications are at the core of all intimacy being able to be sustained. Communications have both an art and a science. You need to engage both sides of your brain and integrate how you're thinking in order to really understand what skillful communications is. Let's start a moment with what it's not. You'll notice that intimacy is not sustained when you talk off the cuff in a spontaneous moment about something that's weighted, that has gravity or complexity, in the, especially in the psychology of the other. You'll also notice that blaming never really works out. Even if it does in a moment, it's not really a sustainable way of communicating. And a lot of us end up leaning towards that. It is modeled in school in general, on mass media, and in our communities all too often. To sustain intimacy, it's a simple recipe. Everyone wants to be heard and everyone wants to be understood. If you want to improve your communications, practice listening. I like to call it crystal listening because you render yourself as clear as a crystal so that everything that comes, you can integrate into clarity. And that's your goal. You're not looking to see what's coming, where it lands or pokes or what it reminds you of. The crystal listening is where you integrate that information into clarity for yourself. You will find how much this clarity of listening extends naturally into understanding. Everyone wants to be heard and understood. In fact, you do too. To sustain intimacy, try modeling your ability to listen and be understanding. The world will open if you can do it right even once. And if you need more help, give us a call or sign up for our online courses. Meanwhile, you can model this in your intimate connection. You can model your capacity to listen and gain understanding. Now, what happens if through listening, you're not gaining understanding? What happens if the words someone else is using are not clear enough or not enough? Maybe you need more information. Just ask. It's really that simple. So you could let somebody know, what I heard you say sounds like a complaint, but what I really want is to understand what you are feeling. So could you tell me again? And can I listen better when you speak about what you're feeling? Tell me some sensations. Tell me some emotions. Tell me the historical context for what you're currently feeling, why it feels this kind of intensity that you want me to understand. So when I make myself a listener, I'm going to inquire further to gain understanding. And when I demonstrate that to another, for many, for many, this is love. And you will probably see that you have started a new premise for all of the communications in this intimate relation. So I say skillful communications, joyful living.